Good morning everybody. I've literally just woken up this second so that is why I look a bit corpse-like at the moment with my eye bags and my messy hair and stuff. I've just woken up so please forgive that. So this weekend is a bank holiday weekend which means that we get a day off work on Monday like every, the whole country does unless you work in retail. Sorry about you lot bye. But I do have a lot of fun things planned this weekend so I thought I would vlog as much of it as I can. I'm not gonna lie my arm is already starting to hurt just from holding this up. That's how rusty I am. I'm still getting used to the vlogging thing guys just bear with me. So I'm doing loads of fun things. Today I'm gonna go and see my friend Liz and I think her boyfriend as well and we are gonna go to Primrose Hill because that's where she lives and just hang out there and I've never been there before so that'd be really cool and then tomorrow it's my friend Lauren's birthday brunch so that'd be really fun and we're out gonna go out in the night time as well and then sun uh, Monday we're gonna go to a nice park for a picnic me and Dan. Dan is away tonight and tomorrow night no just tonight he comes back tomorrow but the best part about all of this is that the weather is absolutely incredible for London so it's like 24 degrees this weekend which is apparently gonna be hotter than Ibiza this weekend so I mean Obviously, I have to get as much done as I can before it turns winter again. It's probably gonna start snowing next week, let's be honest. But first things first, I need to tidy the flat because it's a mess and I hate having a messy flat. So I'm gonna go do that now. Okay, so this is a before of the flat before I get it tidied. And three, two, one. And this is the after. Not too shabby. I still need to hoover. And I also added this to the wall, which is, um, it's like a little photo grid thing. And I've just put some Polaroids of all the different places we've been in the last couple of years. So that's like 2015, Dominican Republic, and then all these different places that we went together. So I thought that was quite nice, a little travel photo thing. I feel so much better now that that's all done. Although I'm really not looking forward to ironing. I'm gonna have to iron because Dan's not here and he normally does it. Ironing is that one chore that I just hate doing so much. I can't do it. I'm such a perfectionist that I get really frustrated with it because nothing, it's like never perfect enough for me. So Dan normally does that, but I'm gonna have to do it this weekend. I'm not looking forward to it at all. But comment below what chore you just can't stand doing. Like I'm sure everybody has one. But anyway, I'm gonna go get ready. <laughs> There's my iced coffee. I've been absolutely loving these recently. So all it is is like a shot of espresso. You don't have to have a coffee machine, obviously. You can just put like a normal shot of espresso in just by making it with instant coffee. And then I just put a little bit of hot chocolate powder in it and ice and milk and it's good to go. It's so, so, so good. And it's like an ice mocha. And I have a little metal reusable straw here, which I got for Christmas as well. Okay, yeah, so I realised I didn't film a lot when I was out, um, but I honestly, I just forget, like, when I'm having a good time, I I find it really difficult to, like, get the camera out, and rem well, remember to get the camera out anyway, um, but I had a really nice fun with my friend Liz, and her boyfriend Cam, and we just went to Primrose Hill, and we just went for a, to a pub after and had a few drinks in the garden, it was so nice and hot outside, I actually love this weather so much, it just makes me want to get out all the time. But now I'm back home, and I'm hungry. <laughs> Um, but I'm actually calorie counting at the moment, which just basically obviously means that I'm making sure I'm under a certain amount of calories each week to lose weight. And uh, alcohol just really gets you with those empty calories, doesn't it? Like I had, I had four gin and tonics, three of them were slimline, one of them wasn't because they ran out of the slimline by the time I had the last one. Um, and it came to like 400 calories for four drinks, which, which kind of yeah is like obvious now that i think about it but i like have barely eaten anything today i've had like a, a tesco's like light sandwich tuna and cucumber sandwich some proper corn popcorn which is like 120 calories a bag or something and another thing that got me actually was i accidentally picked up a strawberry flavored water instead of regular water and I was drinking it thinking it would be fine and it's actually 150 calories per bottle and I was like shocked by that but I'd already drank it so it's too late. So that kind of got me as well. Let me know by the way if this just doesn't interest you. <laughs> but this kind of stuff really interests me. Like I've, I've always been kind of, I don't know, into like health and fitness or whatever. Even though it may not seem like it. <laughs> 
because I'm definitely not in a position at the moment where I am a health freak or whatever, like that's obvious. But I, I'm still interested in it. I've always been like dieting, trying to diet, you know, whatever, you know what it's like. From those things alone, like I, I go on my fitness pal, I'm already at a thousand calories. So I have to have quite a light dinner to stick below my weekly limit so that tomorrow I can kind of eat and drink what I want within reason within my calories. <laughs> Again, if this just doesn't interest you, I'm really sorry. But if it does interest you, let me know because I could do a little series of like, I don't know, keeping up to date with me on this kind of weight loss journey type of thing. I've lost almost, well, I've lost, I've lost about 11 pounds so far since I've kind of properly started doing it. That's in the space of a couple of months, maybe like two or three months and so it is working i just need to stick to it yeah it's just calorie counting staying below my bmr so i'm gonna have for dinner one of these baguettes which is just like an oven cook baguette and just tuna and sweet corn with a bit of salad in there i know a lot of people find it really helpful to see what other people eat and get inspiration and stuff if they are also trying to you know stay on top of their calories or whatever um but yeah i'll show you what it looks like in the end okay so there's my baguette i'm gonna put some of this in which is just tuna sweet corn and some uh light mayo this Hellman's light stuff and then i have here like a rainbow salad that i made the other night and it's just got like cucumbers and tomatoes and onions and peppers in it so i'm gonna put some of that in as well and there we have it <laughs> it doesn't look that appetizing but i bet it'll taste really nice it's kind of like a tuna crunch baguette i guess but anyway yeah i'm gonna go eat this now good morning guys okay i know I know, there's been a drastic change in my appearance and that is because I fake tanned last night. So I am looking a lot darker than I normally do. Also, excuse the foundation on my hand. I'm just in the middle of doing my makeup because we're going to brunch today. I'm so excited for this. It's gonna be so much fun. Um, I'm just ready to have a drink and some nice food with my friends. So I'm really excited and it's my friend Lauren's birthday. So woo, celebration. Anyway, I was halfway through doing my makeup and I realized that I haven't vlogged today. So I'm gonna finish making myself ready my hair is in these like makeshift roller things and I will catch up with you once I have finished. And as if by magic, I'm ready. Those hair um, roller things, I literally just like twisted them up into like pinwheels and then just pinned them up. I think it worked really well. It's very um, blow dry-ish, which I really like. So I'm just wearing this pink top from Primark and a skirt. So I'm gonna head out now because I'm gonna be late otherwise, classic me. But I'll definitely film in there because the place we're going to is really cool. It's called Bourne and Hollingsworth, I think, but they're like restaurant bit, it looks so nice. <laughs> Right, this is my friend Becky. She's gonna be in my vlog because she's the only one that likes YouTube. Joking! But it's I not love YouTube. YouTube. This is the place. What's it called? Born and Hollingsworth Buildings. Born and Hollingsworth Buildings. This is where we sat. I'm really sorry I forgot to get any footage while we were in here. House of Hackney furniture. How cute is it in here? On this fabric, House of Hackney. If you want that, House of Hackney. <laughs> How do you know that? Because I used to study interior design. She's in it, right, interior design. This one, this is what you want. Here we go. Oh, it's so nice in here. Love it, absolutely love. Oh, wow, yeah, this is really nice. Beautiful. Beautiful, look at this radiance. Isn't she gorge? Becky in a tree, Becky in a tree, Becky in a tree. Wait. <laughs> okay, so this place is called Bourne and Hollingsworth. It's in, where is it? I don't know where we are, but we're not in Hackney. Islington. Islington. Exmouth Market. Exmouth Market. Here are my other friends. <laughs> the actual first time I've ever vlogged like me going out with my friends because I find it so awkward it's vlogging when my friends are around friends, yeah no like I actually do like, like this is real life I actually do have friends guys it's not just me on my own in front of my camera <laughs> Lauren I just vlogged are you joking? no I just I just I just vlogged in there and everyone was looking at me and it was really embarrassing and I came out here and I vlogged these look what's that guys <laughs> So Laura May Kirkland does have a YouTube channel, she just has been on it and no yeah. man. <laughs> My eyes are red, they're burning. I'm Comment red. below if you think Lauren should start up her YouTube channel again. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, you're 
I went in there. Hi, Lauren, I went in there in. all on my own with Becky. <laughs> <It's so laughs> all on my own with Becky, yeah. I went in there and I filmed and people were looking at me and I carried on. No, I carried on. That's it. I it. That's okay, thank you so much. Yeah, amazing. Thank you so much. It was the best. Thank you. Angie, have a good bank holiday. Aww. I love him. <laughs> I got a fish finger wrap. That's so good. And obviously sweet potato fries. What did you get? Um, steak, steak sandwich. sandwich. Oh my god, that looks so nice. I'm gonna have a bite of that. Again. so it's actually a couple of weeks later now yeah so that was bank holiday weekend at the beginning of May it's now May the 19th it's actually the day of the royal wedding and I'm wearing a red play suit in honor and I basically forgot to finish the last vlog and also don't have enough footage to make a proper video I don't think so what I'm gonna do is just vlog today as well and maybe tomorrow because I'm doing some fun things this weekend as well and put it all together as kind of like a fun month long Thing. Don't know. So today me and Dan are going to go to Regent's Park and have a little picnic because we've never actually been to Regent's Park and like just sat there all day so we're going to sunbathe pretty much all day, read some books, have a little cute picnic and I've bought a brand new picnic basket which I'm really excited to use and yeah just have a nice day in the sun it's like 23, no 23, 4 degrees today. I'm actually really proud of the British summer this year. Normally it's horrendous every year but this year it's smashing it. It's like sunny most days so far. Touch wood that stays this way throughout summer but I'm loving it so far. Okay so I'm just gonna talk you through what we got for the picnic. Ignore that sound in the background, it's just Dan drying his hair. Um, so first of all we got some crisps, these are my favourite. Uh, Dan likes salt and vinegar and then I got some popcorn and some cheeky chocolate buttons. Got a little tiny bottle of Prosecco there, just to go with our picnic glasses. Um, three baguettes, this one looks a bit weird. Oh well. Three baguettes, um, we've got some pate, salami, and that's parma ham for the bread. Got some strawberries, so these are my favorite. Mr. Kipling French Fancies cakes, so good. Um, just two bottles of water. Uh, we've got chili jam, which is my absolute favorite thing in the whole world. I have it on absolutely everything. Um, red onion chutney, goat's cheese, another favorite of mine. Um, just cheddar cheese and some butter. So now I've got to fit all of that into this picnic basket somehow. Hmm. So I kind of went a bit mental with picnic accessories on Amazon and I bought this picnic basket. Um, we were gonna cycle to the park, but now we've got this, we're gonna have to get the tube, but it's all good because it's so cool. So you lift this up and you get a knife, like a cheese knife, two glasses, and that's a little corkscrew thing in there. And then in here, cheese board. 
by putting cheese on. Well, thank you for that. And then we've got some inflatable pillows because, um, you know, lying on the ground all day, not that fun. And then we also got this red classic gingham. It's actually a tablecloth, but we're gonna use it. It's a picnic blanket. We're gonna look so classic it's stereo. A yeah, it's a tablecloth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you up? No, I, I can't swear, can I? You can, I can just bleep it out. Um, it just means that well, I didn't have any like um, actual things called picnic blanket, but I mean, what is a picnic blanket? It is really just a tablecloth, isn't it, at the end of the day? No, it's a blanket. So it's actually got like some some substance to it. Right. Well anyway, that's the tablecloth we'll be sitting on. But aren't we just the most stereotypical picnic goers you ever did see? That's Victoria Beckham! And David Beckham! Aw. Them. They all look quite miserable. Cheer up everyone, it's a wedding. Sure Smile went... Harry, for God's sake. I thought sure they went short of wedding parties where there no. were people that wanted to come. He looks like some kid himself. I know, he looks so miserable. <laughs> God. He actually looks like he's about to cry. And remain with he's not even looking. Oh. Maybe he's just really happy. But he doesn't look it. <laughs> you know I love you. Do anything for you. You know I love you. Do anything for you. Get the tablecloth out. To be fair, it's not bad. It's good, it's big, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's boy. upside down, you silly boy. Well, it's the right way around, no, it's yeah. fine. Okay, and the award for sickest picnic setup definitely goes to us. Correct? We really have. How much Sick. Last yeah, last time it was so busy. And I'm just gonna tan all day and do nothing. Those pillows are so comfy. Good idea that was, mm. well done. is in the bag. Definitely got more there than small fries. Good morning again everyone. So today is Sunday, the day after the day before. <laughs> Believe it or not. Deadpool 2 was so so funny. I absolutely loved it. So great. I love that film and I love Ryan Reynolds so much. But obviously I couldn't record anything in the cinema because that's illegal so had to leave it there but today we're gonna go to the dog show which is so exciting everyone who knows me knows i absolutely love dogs in particular huskies so i hope there's some huskies there but it's in primrose hill and that's where my friend lives so i'm gonna go meet up with her and then another one of my friends and we're gonna just have a nice day in the sun because it's sunny again and so i just want to go outside um but i'll take you along and show you all the cute dogs and stuff so i'm so excited for this <laughs> Making me so broody. I want a dog so badly. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, he's got a bandana. Nice. <laughs> You're very cute. In third place, I have Stanley. I know I'm biased because it's right next to us. It's actually so cute. It's very pretty. Ooh, go Bella! 
<laughs> Bye. And everybody, please don't forget. Bye. Don't forget to give me a just smiled at me. <laughs> oh my god, this dog is huge. Finally. That's the boy dog. It's massive. <laughs> <laughs> His head's like the size of this dog. Look at these two. Oh my god. <laughs> they are so cute. <gasps> oh my god. Look. Oh my god. Too much. Yes, then. Right. Think I've got a new favourite. Yay! <laughs> And in first place, we have Josh. Josh. Yeah. Go for it, This is great. Go for it, Oh my, it's my three favourites. My three favourites all together. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> 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 <laughs>